Hey guys, so today I'm here with a birthday haul for you, kind of a collective haul. Most of the stuff is stuff that I got for my birthday or I got with birthday money or I just treated myself to for my birthday. So this haul is mainly makeup, I have a few clothes, I have a pair of shoes, it's just all really exciting. So let me just show you guys, I've been busy the past little while. I'm going to start with the makeup. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy palette. This is what's on my eyes today for reference. Obviously I love Amreezy on Instagram, I think her makeup is flawless, her looks are flawless. These are totally all colors she would use and they are just perfect for me for fall. This palette is insanely pigmented. I used it for the first time today and I was like, oh my god, like every shade is so highly pigmented. They blend really, really nice. Another Anastasia product that I picked up, I just got this at Sephora. This is a brow with brow pencil. I'm not really going to talk about it too much. This is my second one of these. So yes, I really liked it. It's expensive, but it's a great brow pencil. It's not what's on my brows today, but because I use her dip brow normally, but if I want a softer look, or sometimes I combine the dip brow and the brow with, it's a great pencil, dark, lasts all day, and it's fine, so you have a lot of control. So this is in the shade brunette slash dark brown. Gotta open that up and use it. On Instagram, I've been searching this forever, and I search the hashtags all the time, and I managed to get my hands, you guys will have seen this a few times, on the Estee Lauder Heat Wave Highlighter. I'm not gonna talk about this, because I've used it in a Get Ready With Me, and it was in my favorites, but oh my gosh, I did not pay that much money for this. I think I paid $52 plus shipping, which in Canada, brand new, this would have probably been like $40 to $50, so I really lucked out. This is amazing, so worth the hype. It's pale gold, and it is so smooth. I just, it's not gritty. It's the finely, most finely milk powder that just melts into the skin. It is so gorgeous. So yeah, I'm loving this. You guys can tell, I just can't stop talking about it, can't stop raving, and I wanna get a second one. So I do recommend looking out for it, but don't don't pay anything crazy like $100 because you can get it cheap like I found it for. I managed to get my hands on two Becca products. Now Becca is a brand, I have one of their highlighters, the rose gold one. Uh, that used to be limited edition but it's permanent now and her products are really hard to get your hands on. Like my Sephora and no Sephora in my city sells them. So I picked up one of her blushes. This is a mineral blush. This is in the shade Damselfly. These are so cute. I used this again for the first time today. Damselfly is just a gorgeous peachy shade. It's got a little bit of pink to it and it does have some golden shimmer to it but when you swatch it there's not a lot of shimmer. I don't know if you can tell but holding it close up this blush is so soft. It's one of the softest blushes that I have used. Like when I swirled my brush in it today to use it, it kicked up a lot of powder. It's what's on my cheeks today. It's not too overpowering. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It's just that perfect everyday peachy pink shade with a little bit of a sculpting. And then of course, when this came back in stock on Sephora, I like pounced. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal, the press version. This has been sold out for like ever. Probably because Becca's kind of like a smaller indie brand. And you guys know I'm highlighter obsessed right now. So I had 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 to have this this is absolutely so beautiful it's definitely a champagne tone but it's definitely warm and very golden so I know there's a lighter one that I was gonna get called moonstone but that one is really white and really frosty and stark this one if you guys have a tan or you want that kind of golden champagne sheen kind of j-lo glow so this is the first time I've used it today it is absolutely gorgeous I'm obsessed it is so so glowy, I just love it. It is like the perfect BAM highlighter. Super glowy, super reflective, but it's not stark. And again, this is a really nice finely milk powder. It's a very creamy powder. Not as creamy as Estee Lauder Heat Wave, but a close second in terms of highlighters I own. Keeping on with highlighters, I purchased a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This is my first Shimmer Brick from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Beige. I've been seeing this on YouTube a lot. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous and sturdy for the vanity. And I just wanted to try it for myself because when I've seen it used in a few tutorials it is so glowy and just right up my alley this is a really neutral highlighter when you look at it in the pan I just wasn't really that overwhelmed nor was I that bowled over when I swatched it but when you apply it on the cheek the magic is just amazing it is not as warm tone and as golden as something like the Becca Opal it's more of a neutral more white gold than that tone but it isn't super stark even on my skin tone it is so glowy just so neutral it's the perfect neutral highlighter this again you guys will have seen in my birthday get ready with me because it is the shadow I wore on my birthday. It's one of the new NARS dual intensity eyeshadows. This is in the shade Himalaya. I know everyone's calling it Himalaya but this is not how Himalaya is spelt. It looks more like Himalaya or 
Himalaya. I don't know, not Himalaya, that's for damn sure. But this is the color here. It is just the most gorgeous kind of bronzy shade. It has a little bit of taupe. Not only is it so shimmery and wet look, I mean, it just goes on like paint. It's so, so pigmented and gorgeous and reflective and striking. Even dry, obviously these can be used wet, but in the dry swatch, I don't even bother using it wet because dry is just enough drama, even for me. But I like this a lot just because it is the perfect neutral shade. It can be worn with cool tones in the crease and then it looks slightly more of a cool eyeshadow look. Or if you wear it with a lot of kind of warm browns, it really warms up and it looks like more of a warm shade. So it's very transformative. Really, really love this. I could have bought like five others of these, but I'm trying to be good because they are expensive. But if you can only get one, this is the one. So this is where I kind of got a little bit crazy. I picked up two of the Glam Glow masks. I have wanted to try this one here for a really long time. I picked up the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment and then the brand new Power Mud Cleanse, Dual Cleanse Treatment. I've been using both of them. So this is this one. It smells lovely. It smells like coconuts almost, like tropical coconuts. This one is supposed to be really hydrating and you can wear it overnight. I've used it a few times and every time I've used it, I have just basically put it on before I go to bed after cleansing my face and worn it overnight. And I will say in the morning when I wake up, my skin is very hydrating. I don't have dry patches but this one I am not like super super crazy about just yet I think I might have to use it a few more times just because the results are nice but nothing more than my fresh Seabury moisturizing face oil I find that does a better job so I do like it but I'm not like run out and repurchase it immediately I do love the new power mud super cleanse jewel cleanse whatever you want to call it this is the green one I felt like my pores really needed cleansing I was getting some blocked pores and texture issues like and nothing had changed in my routine I was having just a really shit skin time it goes on as a mud mask and then when you wash this off it turns into an oil as you're rinsing it off so it offers a little bit of hydration on the back end the mud mask obviously really clears the skin it drags everything out of your pores literally after using this my pores were so clean my skin looked so so amazingly clean and that texture on those pores those block plugs were a hundred percent gone and my skin was back to normal this was like a miracle it smells fruity like pears it does the job and I would highly highly recommend this one so if you guys want to see like a review or like anything on the mask and I can go in depth and put them on my face let me know but this one is worth the $76. This is the lip combination I am wearing today. From MAC, I got the lip liner in the shade Whirl. Of course, they've been sold out because, duh, this is Kylie Jenner lip liner. So, of course, I picked it up because I'm really loving just the 90s matte lip trend, even not the Kylie Jenner. And it is just this gorgeous color here. It's like a dusky, mauvey rose shade with a little bit of brown to it. This, I'm not usually a fan of like the nude MAC lip liners or the pencil lip liners, but it is really creamy. So that is what I've got today, lining my lips and kind of feathered into the middle. On top of that, um, this is an Hourglass Extreme Sheen High Shine Lip Gloss. Oh my god. This is just beyond. This is in the shade Canvas. These are new. This is a new shade. This is like a thicker lip gloss. It's not sticky at all. It's really creamy and it's so pigmented like a liquid lipstick. It covers my whole lip lines. It is just the perfect everyday nude shade. It's not super brown either. So if you guys are hesitant to get into this kind of 90s matte kind of Kylie Jenner craze it's in right now and you don't love it because it's pretty brown, this is definitely more of a rose shade and it is, I can just imagine it looking good on everyone. So that's just all my lips today. Lastly for makeup, I got another eyeshadow palette. This literally just came today I thought it wasn't gonna come because it has been taking forever I picked up the Lorac Pro palette too um did I need another neutral palette no but this is definitely more cool tones you guys have seen this a ton I love my Lorac Pro palette one it, I use it all the time the matte shades are invaluable to me so I wanted to get the second one because it is probably my most reached for palette though number one and so I thought Hey, I'm probably gonna love the second one and it's cooler tones and I do want to try some cooler tones I think it's cool. I just like to experiment. I never have really worn a lot of cool shadows on my eyes So yeah, I really really like this You've got your mattes on the top same format your shimmers on the bottom Obviously if you guys want to get ready with me with this palette or the Amreezy palette Just let me know and I will do one or two or both or you know, whatever you guys want But it's kind of like a weird combo of colors, but I like it so and I like the gray too So Lorac Pro 2 moving on from the makeup. That's all the makeup products that I got I I want to go into clothes shoes you guys I've done a whole video on this so you guys will know about this if you've seen that video I picked up myself a pair of Christian Louboutin shoes I will link the unboxing to that below so these are the shoes that I picked up these are the Christian Louboutin Pagal Follies 120 millimeters these were not a birthday present or a present that I bought with birthday money I actually bought these myself just as kind of a present to myself for my birthday and because I've lost 
a lot of weight as you guys know and all my designer shoes pretty much don't fit me so I want to rebuild my collection and I'm so obsessed with the no platforms right now and I'm a magpie as you guys know so the sparkle is literally everything for me so yeah really quickly those are those then last but not least I have two dresses from revolveclothing.com that I picked up that I want to show you guys revolve clothing they have so many nice like unique pieces on there I have become obsessed but of course it's an expensive addiction so I picked up this dress here it has a lace overlay and then it kind of has like a crop top and a pencil skirt underneath. It's by the brand Dolce Vita. I love the black. I think black lace is so sexy. I'm having like a black lace moment at the minute. I'm always a small in my dresses now that I've lost weight, but this was just very boxy. So in order to make it more bodycon, I just took it in from here down. The upper part fit perfectly, but from about here downwards, I had to just... And it now it fits like a glove. And then the second dress I picked up is this one here. It is from a brand called For Love and Lemons. And when I seriously posted an outfit of me like trying this dress on on Instagram, it caused a little bit of controversy as you guys will see. But that's a whole other topic for a whole other video. But this is their Antigua mini dress. This dress, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to show you. But it has like all these cut out illusions, this nude mesh. It's backless save for the mesh. And it's got like lace details. So it is kind of risque because it basically looks like you you just have this lace body part here and then you look kind of like you're not nude but obviously like you're exposed from here so I think it's a super sexy dress it's really nice and form-fitting to the body it's got a nice v-neck and I just love black lace right now as I said the detailing is just phenomenal on this dress I will say it's a very delicate dress because this is literally like mesh and tulle so you have to be really careful I even store it in a dress bag but in this again I took a size 2 I mean a size two, a size small, and it fits perfectly straight out of the bag. Don't have to have it altered at all. But I'm obsessed. I don't care if you guys hate this dress. A lot of people on Instagram hated it. I love it. It's for me. Can't wait to wear it. So that is the end of my pretty big haul. I feel like it was a big haul, but maybe it wasn't. And I feel like this video may be long. Now I'm kind of going back into lurk mode for purchasing makeup and things like that because I don't have an excuse anymore. I can't be like, oh, it's my birthday. I deserve this. Like, no, girl, you can't. So if you guys would like to see reviews, first impressions, get ready with me's on any of the makeup that I showed, then just let me know. And now I'm going to go ahead and make my protein bars and I'm going to film it for you guys. So you guys can look out for that video next. And I hope you guys are all having a great week and have a great weekend. Bye.